What is going on guys? My name is Zach and today we're going to be doing, very exciting, we're going to be doing a beer, uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing a beer review today. I'm so excited. We're going to be doing a pumpkin ale and this is by Southern Tier. I've had this before but it's been probably like a couple years now and I remember it being like the best pumpkin beer I've ever had, at least at that time. And I don't think I've had one that's been better than the one I had a while ago. So it's really exciting uh, to try this again, see if I still like it. So it says brewed with two varieties of hops and two types of malts. Uh, it's got an ABV of 8.6%. Let's see, what else? Uh, just, yeah, has just different descriptions. But yeah, let's get into this. So we're going to be doing, like, on four different, like, criteria. We're going to be judging by the, the look, the smell, the taste and like the mouthfeel, and then we'll kind of do like a summary and overall. I'm gonna be using this glass that I got from a glass giveaway somewhere. It's pretty, pretty nice glass here. So let's crack this open. All right, just want to smell it. Wow, actually right away, just out of the bottle. Very strong uh, pumpkin smell. Let's give it a pour. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, so I got a little head there. You can see up close. See the color of it? It's like a nice light orange to like copper color, I guess. That smells so good. I remember the smell. It's all coming back to me. Like, I think I only had this one other time and it was at like a bar somewhere and it might have been on tap. I, can't, I don't know. But <laughs> the guy recommended it to me and as soon as I got it, I smelled it. It's like, oh, it smells so good. So look of it, it looks. You know, pretty light actually. Very light colored beer. Not too much of a head. Again, I'm not an expert pourer either, so I don't know if I'm pouring this correctly. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Uh, smell again is like very sweet. You get that pumpkin, you get that sort of nutmeg smell. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Let me go again. It kind of smells, it kind of tastes like it smells, honestly, which is, I guess, a good thing. I mean, in this case, it smells amazing. But it's not like a overpowering, it's not like an overpowering pumpkin flavor, like hits you right in the face, but it does have, it's definitely there, and it's, it's not like hard to drink. It still has that slight bitterness to kind of balance out the sweetness. It kind of has that little aftertaste, but it, it balances perfectly with the sweetness, I think. You can definitely taste that like pumpkin, the pumpkin like spot, uh, <laughs> the, the pumpkin uh, pie spice. You know, they have like the cinnamon, the nutmeg, like that allspice flavor. It's not heavy by any means, you know? It's definitely like heavy on the alcohol content though, but it's at like 8.6, which is pretty high. Uh, Mouthfeel, let me go again. Not very thick. Um, definitely has a little body to it though, for sure. Nice sort of. Did I say creamy? Almost creamy. Like, it doesn't seem like it would be a creamy beer, um, like by the looks of it, but I don't know. I'm getting like sort of a creamy, creaminess factor. Uh, I don't know. That's just me. Nice and light. I don't think this is gonna like fill you up by any means. Definitely, I love this. I love pumpkin beers in general. Definitely have that sweetness. They're not very bitter, but uh, they do, you know, they're just nice and like comforting to me in a way. I just love drinking them especially during the, you know, the fall season. And uh, overall, um, immediately that smell hits you as soon as you like open it or you know pour into a glass, you get that nice sort of rich, sweet pumpkin smell. <sighs> it smells like, that's what it is, okay, pumpkin pie almost. Like you can almost smell like the crust, like in a pumpkin pie, like the whole deal. One second, uh, where was I? Yeah, so, yeah, almost like a pumpkin pie, like, the, all together, you know, you have, like, the pumpkin, you have the pumpkin pie spice, you have that sort of sweet crust, that, uh, pie crust, you know, sort of scent. It's great, I love the smell of it, for sure. And then, uh, look of it, you know, just pretty light beer. Taste is amazing, I really like the taste of it. It just, like, it tastes like it smells almost, which is, like, incredible. And I love that a lot. I would definitely, I'd give this beer probably... 
out of, if I'm gonna rate it, I guess I'll just, like, I wanna start doing beer reviews and different reviews on things. Um, but for this, I'll, I'll do it out of five, five being the highest. And I would rate this beer, like, probably solid four out of five. It's definitely, I think, one of the, the best pumpkin beers I've had. Um, it just hits, it really nails that pumpkin flavor. If you drink it and like exhale through your nose at the same time, while it's in your mouth, you know, you can like taste that smell that you smell without having it in your mouth even more. And uh, it's just great. It just, it just brings you into like that sort of like fall like feeling. I don't know. And it's great. Uh, so I'd recommend it. The only reason I'm not giving it a perfect five is because it, it would have to really blow me away. And um, I mean, it, it gets close to that. Like I said, I, I feel like I remember the flavor of this when I tasted it a couple of years ago, um, being a little bit more pronounced in that like pumpkin flavor. I mean, it's there. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's like slightly a bit more bitter now than I remember it being, but I don't know. It's still great, I like it. Definitely recommend picking this up and trying it. Uh, it's uh, by Southern Tier, um, Pumpkin, they call it, Pumpkin Imperial Ale. Definitely uh, recommend that. All right guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, recommendations for things, if uh, you'd like me to review any beers in the future. Um, I definitely like doing this and I wanna do more of them. So, and I, I have some planned already, so <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you can see those videos in the future and give this video a like. It uh, really helps me out. I really would appreciate that. I'll see you guys next time. Mm. Yeah. Here you go. Have some. Oh crap, I spilled it. <laughs>